Why would I pay a deposit when I could just use my debit card? Some of the benefits of having a credit card is being able to stay in hotels for a little to nothing. You could be able to travel for free. You could be able to get rewards points on groceries, fuel, clothes, you name it. It's so much value for using your credit card. So I'm here to tell you, just get a debit card and pick up that credit card. club i'm gonna need you to leave that four that five and that 600 credit score at the door i'm your girl nika johnson and i am a credit coach and budgeting expert and today we will be talking about the difference between secure credit card and the unsecured credit card so simplest put is a secure credit card is where you have to unfront the money typically you have less than desirable credit so you have to pay some type of deposit but it's all a strategy Rest assured, it's okay. Well, why would I pay a deposit when I could just use my debit card? It's because by using a credit card, you help building your credit and you're rebuilding that relationship with a financial institution so you can get access to higher tiers of credit. Now, an unsecured credit card is where you don't have to upfront the money. Say you went to go apply for a credit card at Capital One and they turn around in exchange for good faith. That's the thousand dollars that you have the ability to be able to use. So let's kind of talk about the benefits of between the two. So one of the benefits for a secure credit card that it's the ability to be able to help build credit so you may have not done well in the past you may have defaulted with other lenders but this is a chance for good faith where you're upfronting your money so there's no risk with a financial institution because ultimately it's the money that's yours that you're already spending Typically with a secure credit card, you may, just may, capitalize that may, may have lower interest rates than a unsecured credit card. And also because this can be used to establish credit. We all wanna make sure we are building your credit, AKA that adult GPA. Now what are some of the drawbacks when it comes to secure credit cards? Basically is that you have to unfront your money. That's the biggest drawback when it comes to having a secure credit card. And another one is typically you're gonna have a lower credit card limit. So it may start out from a $200 limit or somewhere around $500 limit, but the limits are a lot lower. And remember when it comes to that credit score, you want to make for sure you're not using more than 30% of that credit limit. So when you have a secure credit card, you don't want to be maxing that out. Make for sure that you're paying it by the statement due date and just make for sure that you're doing it for small transactions such as gas or maybe a subscription like Netflix. So it's a small amount that's reporting and you're paying off every month so we can be able to build that payment history. So some of the benefits for a unsecured credit card is that there is no upfront cost. That is one pro. And some of the benefits also is that you typically are going to have higher credit card limits. Now, some of the drawbacks is that typically you're going to have a higher interest rate. However, a way to avoid that interest is by paying by the statement due date and not by just the due date. Also, is that one of the drawbacks is that it is difficult to qualify for if you don't have at least decent credit or good credit for that matter. And another one is that sometimes they may have annual fees such as $97 annual fee. Sometimes it could be all the way up to $695. But don't stress too much when it comes to the annual fees because typically those perks and benefits is going to outweigh that annual fee. For example, with my Southwest Airlines credit card, I have an annual fee of maybe $149 now. But no matter what, by my anniversary period, I'll always get anniversary points, which outweighs that fee because of the value of those flights. Some of the benefits of having a credit card is being able to stay in hotels for a little to nothing. You could be able to travel for free. You could be able to get rewards points off of groceries, fuel, clothes, you name it. It's so much value for using your credit card. So I'm here to tell you, dish that debit card and pick up that credit card. Regardless if it's a secure credit card or unsecure, make for sure that you're leveraging your credit and ultimately so you can be able to save more. So if you're deciding which one you should choose between a secure credit card or unsecure credit card, ultimately it's gonna be if you can go for that unsecure credit card so you don't have to upfront the money. But if you have less than desirable credit, it is a strategy. Go ahead and invest into the secure credit card. Typically it takes six to 12 months for that to convert from unsecure to secure. I'm your girl Nika Johnson. Make for sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I just got one question for it. Is that in your budget?